Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your casual consumers review. For today's video, it's a shoe that I was intrigued ever since I first saw images of them online. I held back at first because the shoe looked less appealing on shelf, but I decided to give it a try. A part of the Zugi line, or Sugi in English, these are the Puma Sugi Netfit in the grey blue colorway that I have here for a review. For this sneaker, Puma invited popular and mainstream singer, songwriter, and record producer The Weeknd to promote the shoes. At this point, I think The Weeknd is like their brand ambassador because he's also starred in other pictures promoting different models from Puma, namely the Sugi Shinsei that I have also done a review on. And because of all you savages from the last video, I'll just call it Puma to make everyone's ears happy. Now for this Puma Sugi Netfit release, it came out around the beginning of June 2017 I believe, and the first I've seen it in store here in Toronto, Canada was about 3 weeks ago from this video's upload date. The shoe itself is their next up-to-date performance lifestyle crossover silhouette, with elements inspired from classic Japanese design. Its model name, Sugi, literally means next when translated from Japanese to English, ready for whatever's next and whatever comes in its way. Netfit is Puma's new customizable lacing system to counterattack Adidas' laceless looks and Nike's self-lacing technology. Apart from this colorway that I have here with me, there's also a black and orange colorway that I've seen in my local sneaker boutiques. But surprisingly, with a search online at Puma's website, there's also a primary blue and primary red colorway for us to choose from. But let's take a closer look at these sneakers. Even with several colorways available, I think the grey and blue combo looks the best out of all the colorways at this point in time. Design wise, to follow the design aesthetics of the Sugi line, you can see the modern lifestyle take from the Shinsei model on this Netfit silhouette as well. Although it looks less sophisticated than the Sugi Shinsei, the shoe does give off an aggressive look with a scaly reptile-like texture yet minimalistic vibe. The upper is made out of a standard knitted mesh upper for breathability. Because of this material, the upper is not stretchy at all. It's not like Puma's Evil Knit where it's thin and free-forming. Whereas this mesh material is like a typical rough upper you would expect, and thick to provide structure and durability for protection. Both the medial and lateral side of the shoe looks exactly identical to each other, but the midfoot caging design is where this shoe shines the most and the main selling point of this whole sneaker. There is a unique netted side panel in grey, and Puma named this the Netfit system which is a lacing structure that allows the wearer to customize their own fit and style of lacing. One can literally lace a shoe in nearly any pattern. The possibilities for creativity are endless. Well, unless you run out of laces. Most important of all, other than the visual aspect of it, it'll allow us to adjust the fit according to our own performance or lifestyle preferences. Although I wouldn't particularly use this shoe for running, you can surely tighten it up in such a way that it's stylish and sporty at the same time. Moving to the back of the sneaker, you will see the stronger upper material transition into a looser and weaker textile acting as the heel collar. If you are familiar with the Puma Sugi Shinsei model, you will see the familiar heel wrap with the word Puma the boss on it, capitalized to give a bold and strong statement of branding to the sneaker. This strap is elastic and flexible as well, so when you wear the shoes and the knit from the back expands with your feet, this strap will offer additional secure fit and lessen any heel slippage happening while you wear the shoes. The tongue is literally infused with the one piece upper of this shoe, and right on this tongue, you will see Puma's iconic Cougar logo in white. Already attached to the Netfit system is a grey rope lace, but if you do not like the looks of this, you can switch it out with a crisscrossed blue and grey rope lace instead. For your information, this blue and grey rope lace is longer than the plain grey lace by around 25 inches. Inside the sneaker, you will see a non-removable insole attached to the midsole, with Puma and its model branding text at the heel area of the insole. This insole is quite thin by touch and not memory foam, so don't expect it to be very compressive. It's definitely better than having nothing there though. Around the inner lining of the ankle region inside the shoe is a smooth layer of fabric with occasional padded bumps springing out of the walls. By touch, the cushion on the wall is pretty thin honestly. So again, it's always nice to have something here than nothing at all. Moving a little bit more inwards, it's hard to film this part, but the smooth fabric ends right before entering the midfoot region of the shoe, where the inner lining changes to another material that's most likely more breathable for our feet. Following the innovative outlook, the midsole of the sneaker was designed with a razor-edged rippled pattern. This progressive design features Puma's soft and up-to-date Ignite foam cushioning technology, which is flexible in the forefoot and provides secure cushioning at the heel. 
Flipping over the shoe, we have a standard tough rubber outsole with a waveform pattern that provides the optimal grip on ground to the shoe. Through the windows of the outsole, you can peek through and see the foam midsole and also a red plate at the midfoot region of the outsole. At the hindfoot area of the outsole, there's a small white Ignite branding and Puma's animal logo for brand recognition. Anyways, here are some Puma Sugi net fit in the gray and blue colorway fit footage. Since there are two laces, you'll see the footage switching between the two fits and how it looks on feet. Fit wise, I would advise you to go true to size. This shoe was wide foot friendly as well, so if you have narrow feet, you might be able to fit these in a half size down. But you can always try for a sizing in the store because they're not selling out at all and you can find them sitting on shelves. Because the upper is made out of mesh, you do feel this shoe a bit more clunky and bulky. Your feet won't have the soft fitting feel, but it will provide some nice durable coverage around your feet. Comfort wise, these are pretty solid, figuratively and literally. The Ignite cushioning is nothing fancy in my opinion, so you won't feel much compressive cushioning. But if you like the comfort of a stable, tougher midsole, you can't go wrong with this shoe. But overall, it feels very durable, strong, and well built. And what can I say? These came with a second rope lace, an extra goodie that instantly makes me feel like a great deal. Talking about deal, these were only $130 Canadian before tax. That's a great price point for a shoe like this and what you're paying for. The Netflix system is great for those who want to express their creativity, and let's be honest, there's tons of people in the sneaker community who likes to switch laces or customize their kicks. And now everyone gets a free pass to the entry level in the world of customization by allowing us to start with finding our own personalized look of the lacing aesthetic without the risk of destroying our shoes. For those who are less creative, the shoe still looks exceptional in this colorway, but I guess the main selling point of this shoe is still the personal expression you get from finding your own lacing preferences. As always, throw me some likes if you like this video and let me know if you think this Netfit system is something innovative that Puma has created. I feel like it's a very unique and refreshing idea in my opinion, and certainly a sleek silhouette that allow custom beginners to make the shoe look great immediately. That's it for today, S2W signing off.